Proverbs 16, 18 tells us, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. This verse reminds us of the dangers of pride. When we become arrogant and self-centered, we set ourselves up for failure and downfall. I've seen it all too often in the gym. Athletes trying to impress someone or see how someone else did on a lift and they feel like they must do better. All of a sudden, good form and pacing goes out the window. Not only do they often hurt themselves physically, but their pride gets hurt as well. This verse warns us of falling into that better than you syndrome. You know, looking down on others or refusing to admit when we're wrong. Whatever the case may be, pride separates us from God and hinders our relationships with others. But the good news is that God offers us a remedy for pride. James 4, 6 says, but he gives us even more grace to stand against such evil desires. As the scriptures say, God opposes the proud, but favors the humble. Humility is the antidote to pride. When we humble ourselves before God and others, we open ourselves up to his grace and favor. Humility allows us to acknowledge our limitations, recognize the contributions of others, and seek reconciliation when necessary. So today, let's examine our hearts and ask God to reveal any areas of pride that may be lurking within us. Then, let's make a commitment to practice humility in our thoughts, words, and actions.